mechanism of action of sympathomimetic drugs. In postganglionic sympathetic nerve endings, we have norepinephrine. Norepinephrine acts on alpha and beta adrenoceptors present on effector cells. At presynaptic sites, we have norepinephrine transporter. The function of this norepinephrine transporter is to remove norepinephrine from synaptic cleft. Norepinephrine releases and activates alpha and beta receptors to produce its effects. However, the norepinephrine transporter pumps the norepinephrine back into the neuronal cells. The norepinephrine in the neuronal cells may re-enter the vesicle or undergo metabolism. All such drugs that directly act on receptors are called direct acting. Amphetamine, a psychostimulant drug, has the ability to block the norepinephrine transporter and thus it prevents further uptake of norepinephrine in presynaptic terminal. Amphetamine also acts as a substrate for norepinephrine transporter and sequestered itself in presynaptic vesicle, thereby replacing norepinephrine from the storage vesicle into the synaptic cleft. So now more norepinephrine is available to act on the receptors that potentiates its effects. As these drugs does not directly act on the receptors, therefore these are called indirect acting. Cocaine has the ability to block norepinephrine transporter. Thus, it prevents further reuptake of norepinephrine into the synaptic vesicle and more norepinephrine is available at the synaptic cleft to produce its effects. As cocaine also does not directly acting on the receptors, therefore cocaine is also an indirect acting drug. Ephedrine, another sympathomimetic drug, not only blocks the norepinephrine transporter, thus preventing further reuptake of norepinephrine Plus, it has the ability to directly stimulate alpha and beta receptors. And therefore, ephedrine and all such drugs are called as mixed action drugs.